hello everyone welcome to rn tutorials on engineering mechanics so in this video i would like to discuss about screw jack there is the differential screw jack which is one of the types of screw jacks so first i would like to give what is the definition for the differential screw jack so differential screw jack is the modified form of the simple screw jack which is designed to in increase the velocity ratio for that screw jack to improve the performance that is the efficiency of the screw jack okay so it is the improved form modified means improved form of the simple screw jack to increase the velocity ratio in improving its performance next it works on a principle of differential screw so the differential screw jack works on a principle of differential screw here so what do you mean by differential screw we should know so the differential screw is defined as a mechanical device consisting of two screws with two different pitches and which are arranged in such a way that the resultant motion is the difference of individual motion of the two screws okay the two different screws with the different pitches are arranged on the same same shaft and the resultant motion will be uh, difference of the two individual motions of the screws so how can we understand this statement means here i will take i would like to take the help of one diagram here so assume this is screw 1 and this is screw 2 with the two different pitch values 4 mm and 3 mm okay and this uh, first screw will be moving or rotating in a fixed frame which is the stationary one and uh, this nut will be uh, freely moving on the screw 2 okay now so this is not fixed one this is the movable and the frame is the fixed one okay when you rotate this screw 1 for one revolution it will move the distance equal to the 4 mm at the same time whatever the nut is connected on this screw it will move towards the screw one that means towards the right side direction with equal to the distance of 3 mm why because the pitch value of screw 2 is 3 mm so when it rotates again one revolution the nut will move over the screw 2 equal to the distance of 3 mm at the same time the differential motion will be taking place for the nut so that differential motion is towards left side direction okay now so that is only the principle of differential screw so, okay when you rotate this screw so it will look like the nut is moving towards the right side direction equal to the distance of 3 mm that is the pitch value of the screw 2 but at the same time the nut will move towards the left side direction equal to the distance that is the difference of two motions of these two individual screws so motion by the screw 1 is 4 mm and the motion uh, given by the screw is 3 mm so the left side movement given to the nut n is equal to the difference of the two moments okay that is only the statement of the differential screw there is the resultant motion is the difference of individual motions of the two screws the resultant motion of this nut is equal to the difference of individual motions of the two screws means the difference of the pitch values 4 minus 3 which will be equal to 1 mm so the nut will be the resultant motion of the nut will be towards left side direction which is equal to the distance of 1 mm which is the difference of the pitch values of these two okay this is only left side view here i have given okay sorry uh, uh, okay left side view only this one okay so by this arrangement we can understand easily about the differential screw mechanism okay which will give the small moment with the help of the two screws okay so that is of the differential screw principle next we for we go for the actual differential screw jack okay for this uh, let us assume small elements one is uh, sorry the statements i want to give step by step to explain about the differential screw so first point is it consists of screw a and b so screw a and screw b okay these are the two screws are provided in a differential screw which will be giving the differential motion okay generally the differential motion is given to the screw b here okay based upon the lifting and lowering of the w that is the load will be taking place and the next point i would like to tell you screw a is provided with external threads and the internal threads to give the differential motion okay now so the this screw is provided with external threads as well as the internal threads by which will be giving the differential motion to the screw b which will be moving inside the screw a okay and next point i would like to give screw a is mounted in nut c okay this is the nut c into this nut c a is mounted which makes the body of the screw jack okay this is the main body of the screw jack combination of a and c okay next the fourth point i would like to tell you lever arrangement is connected to the screw a through which the screw b can move the lever arrangement means this is the lever arm and this is the head to which um, the lever is connected so this setup is uh, connected to the screw a 
okay based upon that only when you rotate this lever automatically the, the rotation of the screw takes place so when the rotation of the screw takes the moment of the b inside the external threads and inside the screw a outside the screw a will be taking place okay that is about the lever arm arrangement and next point i would like to give as screw a moves downward okay here if the screw a moves downward and the b moves upward with a distance of difference of the two pitches okay here when you move this a when the move when a moves downward direction and the moves upwards that is the resultant motion of the b will be the difference of the two pitch values okay na? so that is about the differential screw okay next i would like to give the elements first element i uh, let us assume the element first p1 is the pitch of the screw a and p2 is the pitch of the screw b and l is the length of the lever arm by which we can apply the effort for rotating the screw a and similarly w is the load to be lifted and next p is equal to effort applied to lift the load and for one revolution next step is for one revolution by the application of the effort what are the distances covered by the screw a screw b and the lever arm p sorry lever arm this arm that we should analyze here so the distance moved by the screw a in upward direction is equal to p1 equal to the pitch value why because the pitch definition is for one rotation how much the distance moved by the screw so during one rotation the screw a moves equal to the pitch value p1 similarly distance moved by the screw b in downward direction which is equal to p2 again equal to the pitch value of the internal threads as well as the threads of the screw b both will be same here and due to this upward and downward movement there will be a resultant motion which will be in upward direction okay na? so resultant distance moved by the load in upward direction this upward movement and this downward movement causes again the upward movement of the screw b which is the resultant motion and which is the difference of the two distances moved by the two screws that is p1 minus p2 which is the differential motion given to the load okay here the b will not rotate the b will be constant screw so when it is constant then only it can uh, move towards the through the screw towards the screw and outwards the screw so b is fixed one here the b will be rota uh, moving according to the rotation of the lever arm that is according to the rotation of the screw here okay according to the differential screw mechanism the resultant distance moved by the load in upward direction is p1 minus p2 okay got it next we go for next slide so in this slide the distance moved by the effort i would like to write the effort means this is the p we which is applied at the end of the lever arm during one revolution it will form a circle so the, that means equal to the circumference of the circle it can cover the distance so the same value i can we can read it as 2 pi l okay and similarly i would like to write the velocity ratio the formula is uh, distance moved by the effort by distance moved by the load distance moved by the effort is 2 pi l and distance moved by the load is difference of the two pitch values remember p1 minus p2 okay that is the velocity ratio next we go for writing the mechanical advantage which is the ratio of load to be lifted by effort applied so load to be deflated lifted is w by effort applied is the p okay that is about the mechanical advantage already we know next we need to write the efficiency of the screw jack eta is equal to we know the definition which is the ratio of mechanical advantage to the velocity of ratio so mechanical advantage by velocity ratio okay so this is the formula for efficiency of the screw jack by finding mechanical advantage and velocity ratio we can find the efficiency which will decide the performance of the screw jack that is the differential screw jack here next we go for solving particular example simple example so go through the problem i am reading listen a differential screw jack has a pitch of 12 mm and 10 mm okay two screws it is having one is of 12 mm pitch and another one is of 10 mm pitch okay length of the arm the lever arm length is 30 mm okay next what will be the efficiency of the machine if it can lift a load of 7.5 kilo newtons by an, by an effort of 30 newtons okay first to try to write the given data p1 is 12 mm that is the pitch and p2 another pitch value is 10 mm and the length of the arm is 300 mm sorry ma here get it corrected in the problem i have mentioned only 30 so please correct it as 300 mm the length of the lever arm is 300 mm okay 
and the next uh, the load to be lifted is 7.5 kilo newtons which means 7500 newtons and similarly the effort applied to lift the load is 30 newtons okay with this information we need to find out what is the efficiency of the machine so for that first we need to find out what is the velocity ratio what is the mechanical advantage so we go for finding what is the velocity ratio we know the formula as 2 pi l by p1 minus p2 differential motion which is the resultant motion so 2 pi l is equal to we can write it as 2 pi into the length value is 300 divided by p1 minus p2 means 12 minus 10 okay the value is 942 which is the pure number dimensionless quantity okay next go for finding the mechanical advantage which is the ratio of load to be lifted by effort applied so load to be lifted is given as 7500 newtons by effort applied is 30 newtons the ratio of these two values by simplification by using the cal c will be getting 250 which is also pure number and the ratio of these two will give you the efficiency efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio that is equal to 250 by 942 we got so by this ratio we will be getting the value as 0 0.265 which is the efficiency that can be written in terms of the percentage as by multiplying 100 26.5% is the efficiency of the differential screw jack okay this is the way of solving this simple pro in simple problem okay in the examination you will be getting this kind of the problems only okay the analysis is very very important and the understanding of the differential screw is very very important don't confuse about the differential screw mechanism so whatever i have given the explanation in this video that is enough for understanding the differential screw okay now remember the differential screw will give the resultant motion to a particular element which is movable on the screw okay that distance will be equal to the difference of the two pitch values okay that is only the differential screw mechanism for getting the minimum movement okay i hope you understand uh, about the differential screw mechanism and how to solve a problem and uh, once again thanks for watching my video thank you all and if you have still any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts thank you all